quite easy. Here in our listing, we've included a link to a zip file that you can download. So we're going to download that right now. And um, then find it wherever it goes on your machine. Open it up. And you're going to see um, a directory and two files. The first thing we want to do is update the circuit, um, excuse me, update the Trinket M0 to the latest firmware. Um, it's actually required so the software will work. So to do that, there's a little button on the Trinket. You want to double click it. Sometimes it's a little finicky. But once you get it, you'll see that the drive name will change to Trinket Boot. And I'm got to hit it just right. As you can see, I'm struggling with it. There, got it. Now it says Trinket Boot. I've got um, a red light, a green light, and then two green lights on the Trinket. Okay, so then I take this file, this UF2 file, it's basically just a firmware update from Adafruit for the Trinket, and I drag it onto the Trinket. <laughs> And so then now the trinket will update itself and then it'll come back as circuit python okay now the next thing we want to do is delete some of these files from here because we, we don't want them on here we're going to delete all these files here um, because it, it has very little storage on it and then in li this lib file, we're going to get rid of dot star. We don't need that. We don't need this NeoPixel file. And then we're going to be updating all of these here so we can get rid of these as well. Okay. So now let's go back to um, what we just downloaded. We're going to see, we're going to copy these files here into the Adafruit HID folder. That's basically a library used in CircuitPython. And then go back a directory and copy main.py. And I messed that up. And that actually goes all the way back to the first directory so it goes here okay now open up a text editor and then edit this file now here is the, um, the um, important guts of the file we've made a few changes from Adafruit's example code we changed this sleep here to three seconds when the device starts up so it doesn't have any issues um, and then we've added it so we have multiple control keys basically what this does um, up here you're adding a command and a shift or you can or and that's for a Mac or you can use make it control for a PC just replace this with control and then up here it's a for a zoom meeting M for Microsoft Teams and then for Google meet it's a D but you want to get rid of this shift. So you would set this to none. Um, so basically we're just set it, sending a variable down to the code here where it detects when a key is pressed and then we'll send a string to the um, or the keys that you that are pressed to your computer. So basically this little trinket is acting like a keyboard the input is the button, and so when the button is pressed, it sends those key commands. It's that simple. And uh, if you have any difficulties with the software, just reach out. Um, it's, it's usually fairly straightforward. Thanks a lot.